so we decided to have a little break in Porto Santo and uh, this is what happened. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the social distancing vlog. Um, it's International Coffee Day today, so I'm having my uh, cup of coffee. And um, looking back at an old trip we did in Porto Santo, um, back in April in 2019, we had the most epic ride in Porto Santo. But unfortunately on the way there, as beautiful as the sunset was, uh, it was really, really bumpy. Mm. We stayed at the Villa Bolera Hotel, um, which is our favorite hotel in uh, Porto Santo. They've supported me over the years. Uh, the year before that, I had done another video for them. So the Villa Bolera Hotel is one of the best places to stay in Porto Santo. Um, one of the reasons is that it's actually an all-inclusive hotel. And usually I don't promote all-inclusive hotels. You know, I'm all about going out there and trying the local food and things like that. Um, but in Porto Santo, it's um, a real plus. You spend a lot of time on the beach. Um, it's real easy just to come back to the hotel, have something to eat and then get back on the beach or get back onto wherever you're going. And also, in some times during the year, there are some places that tend to be closed. So it's good to have that place there that you know you can have a grab a snack or a meal whenever you want. Uh, and then of course there's the open bar and everything like that as well. So the actual hotel is really great on the beachfront. Um, got nothing bad to say about it. Lovely staff, just fantastic place. So of course a lot of people know Porto Santo for its beach. And uh, in my opinion, it's the best beach in Portugal. Uh, first of all, it's usually really quiet. I mean, we were there in April and it wasn't quite warm enough for us Latinos to swim in. Uh, but if you come from England or, or from anywhere else that's uh, usually a lot colder than Madeira, then you'll be fine in April. Um, swimming in Porto Santo and we actually got into the water anyway so uh, there's really no problem with that. The best way to get around in Porto Santo is, in my opinion, uh, with a quad bike. Um, there's a lot of old uh, off-road paths and things that you can really only do by quad bike. And the island's small enough to transport yourself around. What's up guys, I'm in Porto Santo once again. Some of you may remember I was here about a year ago filming a YouTube video and I'm taking this little walk up to a place called Grutas de Pico do Ana Fajera. It's a secret little spot with a really cool view. So I'm gonna show you that real soon. But first, check out the view. I think I'd try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking And I need more of a show right now It's time that you made your mind up Right, now there's these caves, right? There's this cave up on the top on the peak of Porto Santo that's got this amazing view of almost the whole kind of 
city or the principal part and the principal beach of Porto Santo and a year before in 2018 when I had been there uh, for the first promotional video I had made of Porto Santo I really really wanted to find this cave I had seen it on Instagram it was one of my absolute missions for this last year to find this cave once again but good news is I managed to find another path up and now I'm I saw a little dirt road and we're gonna try and get it from the other side let's see what happens we went looking we asked for directions you know some of the locals helped us out and it seemed as if we were just not gonna find it again this year we got lost um, you know up on a on this peak I was already being hated on <laughs> And it just wasn't going our way and eventually we found some locals who uh, had their 4x4 and uh, after bravely following them with the quad bike um, they showed us exactly where it was and after doing a little bit of rock climbing uh, up this little path we eventually got there and it was the most amazing experience um, you know one of my favorite experiences in Porto Santo and next time I want to go there for sunrise guys I hope you're enjoying the social uh, distancing wow. vlog um, you know we've, we're having a bit of a tough time here in Madeira of course as you may know tourism has stopped uh, everything has stopped everyone is at, at home of course we're all looking after each other and thankfully in the last four or five days we've only had one case of coronavirus um, reported which is pretty cool so uh, we're starting to seems as if things are starting to stabilize the government is taking great steps uh, to look after us so we're really happy that this is the kind of uh, that, that we started to see these kinds of results here in Madeira um, but of course you know we're sticking to it and we're looking after ourselves for the future so um, in the meanwhile um, subscribe to our channel you're gonna love the kinds of videos that will come out of here once we can get out into the into the field um, hit a like on this video, share it with your friends. Remember, we're planting a tree for every subscriber that we get this year as soon as we can get outside. Also, uh, all of our tours at the moment are at 50% off, so use the promo code SAVE TOURISM uh, in the checkout on your booking, and um, you will get a 50% discount on all tours, including the Big Walk, which has been already announced for next year we've already got all the dates for next year and it's going to be pretty cool there is a date where we get a lunar eclipse so that should be real awesome anyway thanks for watching guys uh, stay safe stay at home subscribe to the channel and i uh, hope to see you in the next vlog and uh yeah goodbye